All right, this week on Python on Hardware, um, the lead story is what we're gonna do a video about. This is exciting because Raspberry Pi released PIO lib for Raspberry Pi 5, RP1 programming. This means you can do a lot of neat things. Specifically, you'll be able to do something like NeoPixels. So we have that ready to go. Here is Jeff explaining what this is. Hello, Chepler here, and I'm excited to be ending the week on a high note. I've got a rather ordinary looking NeoPixel strip here running an animation using the CircuitPython LED animation library. What's exciting about this is it's running on a Raspberry Pi 5 single board computer. Up to now, we haven't been able to do this because we were waiting on Raspberry Pi to release some details of the RP1 chip on that board. Now that's released, we've uh, built on an open source library to interface with it, and we're able to do NeoPixel animations on the Raspberry Pi 5. I have a few things to finish up, and then we'll do an open source release of this code on GitHub. So keep an eye out for that, and have a great weekend. And we're going to check out the most popular Python and hardware newsletter in the world. Uh, there's an updated CircuitPython plugin for VS Code. Um, you can check out um, some news about Arduino. They're doing their first Zephyr core, and they're moving away from ARM's discontinued embed. Um, you can check out Raspberry Pi Pico 2W with MicroPython. There's a guide. And then you can see things like a wireless mouth and a ring that used CircuitPython. And go through and see the hundreds of projects every single week that you can build in a matter of minutes, or some of these are a little more involved, but you'll be able to see the code, the libraries, all the things that is happening in the world of Python and hardware. And there is a lot. We deliver this to your mailbox every single week. You can sign up on adafruitdaily.com.